It is strongly recommended to start with the dorsal ventral or the ventral dorsal view to avoid pulmonary atelectasis and mediastinal shift. These artifacts will occur very quickly, definitely when the animals are sedated or under general anesthesia. Once the dog is on the table, we will remove his collar to avoid metal artifacts on the film. When positioning this dog for this view, we try to get perfect alignment between the vertebral column and the sternum. And once the dog perfectly positioned, we will minimize moving him and instead we will move the table. We will center the light beam just behind the caudal edge of the scapula and the center is represented by the cross of the window, which will focus just behind the caudal edge of the scapula. And further collimation of the radiographic beam is important to improve radiographic quality at one side and to limit scatter formation at the other hand. The collimation should not exceed the width of the chest and should include the thoracic inlet and the cranial abdomen. A positional marker, left or right, can be used and finally, Every effort should be made to obtain an end inspiratory film. Movement artifact from respiration should be avoided and this means that in panting dogs the mouth should be closed and sometimes one has to whistle in the nose of the dog to stop panting or breathing, breathing excessively. If the animal is under general anesthesia and intubated, the lungs should be fully inflated at this point in time. The ventrodorsal view, more commonly taken when investigating pulmonary disease, should be avoided if there is a suspicion of pleural effusion. The centering, the collimation are very similar for the, to the dorsal ventral view, but with extra care to align the sternum and the vertebrae.